I am Nilea Devora, no middle name, and I'm 20. It was my Club Penguin username, and it was Starry78500. My girl, Starry. I love her. <laughs> I miss her. YouTube, right now I have 2.8 million, which is insane. Oh my God, if I would have told myself that like a couple years ago, I would have been like, shut the fuck up. You're kidding. No, yeah, 2.8 million. I don't know, man. I think like it sucks a little bit, I understand, but I feel like times are kind of evolving a little bit and it's like you can keep up, you can fall behind. If you wanna fall behind, that's cool. But I just think that like, if you don't like it right now, like the future's gonna be crazy, you know? I think it's just like, I don't know, why not? Actually, YouTube. I didn't have a job before YouTube. Honestly, I feel like I've said a bunch of things, but I don't know how serious I was about it. I wanted to be like a dentist for a little bit and then a dermatologist because I knew they want a lot of money. I wanted to be a pop star. That was a big one. Wasn't realistic though. I can't sing. When my newspaper teacher was like, you have a YouTube channel? And I was like, what is going on? I was like, why do you know that? And then she proceeded to show the entire class my YouTube channel. It was so humiliating. But I was like, I'm a little proud. <laughs> Oh my God, the very first video I posted was actually a thrift haul, but I deleted it because it was too embarrassing. So I deleted that one and then I officially posted like a makeup video, which was fun. I think the second video, the makeup video, I was kind of like, the beauty stuff is not working. The thrift haul is not working. I'm like, I guess I'm just gonna like do my best and it worked. I don't know about like views and stuff, but I recently made like a video where I had a microphone and I love this microphone. Microphone, I'm French. I ordered it from Amazon and I love my microphone. It was so fun. I have ADHD, so like being able to hold something while I'm talking was perfect. And I really liked that video. I feel like I was able to open up and chat. So I feel like I might have to do more of those videos soon. I feel like this is like a cheesy answer, but when I was little, I like admired YouTubers because I was like, I can relate to those people. I feel like they're not like perfect. So I was like, I think they're really cool. And I always wanted to be like a YouTuber. So I think that was like my inspiration. I was like, these are cool people. They're just like themselves. Some people like them for it. Some people don't. And yeah, here we are. <laughs> I think I'm like constantly trying to like breathe and like fix my burnout. I kind of just ignore it. I'm like, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm great. Because I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself. I want things to be like perfect and stuff because I expect a lot from myself. But I feel like burnout is like very common and I wouldn't say I had like one moment where I was just like, oh, I'm burnt out, but it's like a little bit like consistently. I'm like, I gotta deal with that. I think maybe not taking things too seriously or like personally. I feel like a lot's going on. So it's like if you take everything personal or like seriously, you're going to get in your head. Just keep moving forward. You know, one foot in front of the other. Life's not that serious. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like people that are just like authentic and are doing things that they're passionate about, I feel like those people will always, I guess, like find a way to be on top of things because it's like that love and that passion for something, like that nothing can take that away. And like relevancy doesn't really matter. I feel like YouTube is never gonna die. And I feel like YouTube is the best platform ever. I think right now there's a lot of like social media apps, but I think YouTube is like forever. I feel like a lot of apps will come and go, but YouTube will just stay. Oh my God, totally. I'm gonna be a mom and I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna vlog my kids, but I'll vlog myself like cooking food or something. I feel like I'll always kind of find a way to check in and annoy everyone, piss everyone off. They're like, why is she still here? <laughs> She's 35. <laughs> I remember just, um, I used to go to the movie theaters with my mom when I was really little. We would go all the time in Mexico because there was like this really cheap, nice like movie theater and they had the best popcorn and they have like surround sound and the chairs move. And I just would always go with my mom like almost every weekend. I was tiny, I think I was like 10 and I was like bonding time. Like I'm ready for this weekend. I could go on and on about this movie. La La Land is the best movie ever. 
like ever. I could cry Emma Stone. Ryan Gosling, it's like love and like dreams and like following your dreams and like losing someone you love because like right person, wrong time. Like it's just like, oh my God, the colors, the outfits, the soundtrack. <gasps> La La Land literally changed my life. I've watched it seven times and I'm gonna watch it again. And I force all of my friends and family to watch it with me. I'd probably say Jed Apatow because I'm a big fan of comedy, comedy movies. Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill, Michael Sarah. It's just like feel good movies. Yes, it's my first time in Cannes. It's so beautiful, the weather is perfect. I know it's supposed to be raining right now, but the weather happens to be perfect while I'm here and I'm not complaining. Oh my God, there was a bird that flew onto my balcony with like a hot dog on its, in its mouth and it flew right in front of me. It was like, like literally made eye contact with me, flew onto my balcony, ate this hot dog and then left. So I think you'd do that. <laughs> I'd want to be Emma Stone in Easy A, Olive Pentergast. Pentergast. Pentergast? It's a hard last name, but she's my queen. I dressed up as her for Halloween. No one saw my outfit. I'm gonna rewear it this year, so expect that. Am I spoiling my Halloween outfit? It's okay. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza, that's my girl. I love her. She gets me, you know? I think I get her. We get each other. I have a sentence. It's a series of words. The most fun, coolest, I'm having an out of body experience, insane, amazing, crazy, beautiful, fun. Movies, dressing up, good vibes. That's con. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna take this off now.